It's time for your weekly financial workout with your elite personal trainers, Ryan and Bob Payne. We'll guide you to build a stronger and more robust financial plan. It's time to pump you up. This is the No Pain, No Gain Financial Podcast. Welcome to No Pain, No Gain Financial Podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Payne, president of Payne Capital Management, along with our chief investment officer, the man with the plan, and who happens to be my father, Bob Payne. So, Bob, it's that time of year when, if you're over 70 and a half, the government starts forcing you to take money out of your retirement accounts and pay taxes on it. Not a real fun time when now, all of a sudden, you have to start paying the government on your money. Well, you know, Ryan, that's a real uh, buzzkill. Uh, you know, it's the greatest <laughs> thing in the world to be able to put money away, deduct it from your taxes, make money in the market, get dividends, get interest, get capital gains, not pay any tax every year, and then boom, it's time to do your required minimum distribution. What a bummer. Yes, it is a bummer, right? And do you find with your client base and people come into the office that they planned for these RMDs when they have to come out or as a surprise when all of a sudden... I'm 70 and a half now, and oh man, I didn't had no idea I was going to have this big tax bone I have to start paying every year. Well, I think with the clients that we work with, they're not surprised because that, that's part of our wealth projection. We show what happens to your money after taxes, when you retire, when that comes out. We account for all that because that's how we set our strategy for you, whether you're 20, 30, 40, or 50. But you know where we really find a lot of surprises is when people don't realize that even though we're doing the required minimum distribution, right? They have to do it from their 401k and and other IRAs and other 401ks that they've left behind. Nobody tells them, so they forget about it, and that can be really a problem. Yes, because then you're talking about big tax penalties if you don't take the money out, and that's one of the reasons why a lot of times when you're getting close to retirement or retired now, it's good to consolidate your retirement accounts because then all of a sudden you have to take like five different RMDs if you haven't consolidated your money. So consolidation yeah, you know, can and really just, solve that problem. Yeah, and just like any other government rule, right? ignorance of the law is no excuse and they really don't have any sense of humor or do they care? As a matter <laughs> of fact, they think they're kind of gleeful when they get a chance to bang you with a 50% penalty. <laughs> yeah, I think think lethal is probably the correct term there. The other thing I find can be a big surprise is you've done such a great job saving in your retirement accounts through the years, got a great tax benefit because when you put the money in, it was pre-tax. But now all of a sudden you have huge amounts of money in retirement accounts. And what it becomes is what we call a ticking tax time bomb because the more money you have in these accounts, the more money you have to take out when you're 70 and a half, which means, Bob, much bigger tax bills. It's an unpleasant surprise. You know, right? it's like um, taxes have to be paid, right? There's, you can avoid paying all the tax. However, there are some strategies where you can minimize the bite. You know, for example, you had me do a Roth conversion, even though I'm not 70 and a half yet, or am I? <laughs> you're not that old. Yes, Bob, you're not 70 and a half yet, for the record. Oh, thank you. <laughs> but you had me do that Roth conversion, yeah. and you know that account's growing like a weed, and I'm never going to pay another dime of tax on that money for the rest of my life. Yes, it pays to do what we call retirement account planning ahead of time. Like I had a couple the other week. Um, they're going to retire early. They're only 62. They're going to be in a low tax bracket next year. So we're going to actually take money out of those retirement accounts early and the cool thing is we're going to do it at a low tax bracket, but we're putting that money into an account where all the growth of that money is tax-free for their life, Bob, and their heir's life. Like That is an awesome tax strategy, and you can do that if you're proactive. You know, right? even when you do it, a Roth conversion, and you take money from an IRA or a 401k and you put it into a, a Roth account, you got to pay income tax. How about giving money directly to charity? You can give money directly to charity from your required minimum distribution and that's 100% tax-free. That's a great point. And most of you probably aren't doing this, but if you're 70 and a half now, and I actually talked to my buddy's dad the other day because he knows I'm a financial guy and said, oh, he's the one that said, I can't stand talking to my financial person. I was like, I can relate. <laughs> but, he's, but I told him, look, you know, if you have any charitable contributions this year, you just turned 70 and a half, write them right out of your IRA that comes right off the top. So that's less tax that you have to pay now on your RMD this year, your mandatory distribution. He was like, that's an awesome strategy. And I think that's the big misconception, Ry, that you think that you can just write your check to charity, to your church or to your favorite charitable institution, and you can write it off completely under the new tax law. That's not going to happen, is it? 
no, you can't do it anymore. So it doesn't work. So, you know, more than ever, it's so important if you're doing charitable contributions, you're over 70 and a half, take them out of your IRAs. You know, it's, it's a smart thing to do. And it's a good yeah, chance. Why not missing get 100% benefit, right, Ry? I mean, you know, why just get partial benefits? Bob, that's just downright crazy to me. <laughs> you always want to get <laughs> the full benefit. And again, that just comes back to by planning for taxes. And these are just a couple of the strategies we use to put more money in your pocket as opposed to Uncle Sam's. And it's just these small tweaks that need to be looked at. Yeah, right. The other thing that I see with uh, required minimum distributions where a little bit of planning goes a long, long way. You know, for example, you don't have to sell what's in your retirement account and distribute cash, right? You can do what's called an in-kind transfer. And if you're smart about it, if you're systematic about it, and you cherry pick parts of the portfolio that are overvalued and transfer those as opposed to things that are more valuable, you can actually keep this account growing even though you're taking money out every year. That's right. And I have clients ask me all the time, well, man, now we got to put that money in cash. Now it's got to go into my regular account. And then I got to decide what to do with it again. You don't have to do that. If you don't need the money, to your point, Bob, just move investments from one account to the other. It saves so much hassle and administrative work. And most of us I think we have to move cash and you just don't have to do that. And again, that's part of a well-laid plan where you can do these things so much smoother and so much less tax. It's like you always say, Ry, you know, running a portfolio is like running a farm. You know, you want to reap what you sow and you want to pick the fruit when it's ripe, not when it's rotten. And you want to leave the plants that are growing in the ground, you know, to reap the rewards of the fruits later down the road. If you're looking to learn a little more about some of the things we talked about on this podcast, but you're not quite ready for a one-on-one -on -one phone call, no problem. Check out our most recent guide that helps you learn the ins and outs of financial and retirement planning. It's free and you can download it right now by texting the word bullish. That's bullish, B-U-L-L-I-S-H to 555-888. That's texting the word bullish to 555-888. You can download our latest guide, five ways to maximize your retirement accounts. Just give you some ideas on how you can save on taxes through health savings accounts, 401ks, Roth 401ks, Roth conversions. We give you some simple common sense ways to use retirement accounts to save on taxes. Simply text the word bullish to 555-888. That's the word bullish to 555-888. Or check out the show notes for the episode at bebullish.com for a link. Here's this week's Spotlight on No Pain, No Gain. We have a very, very special guest on our show this morning, my colleague, Bob's colleague, certified financial planner, Courtney C. Money Dominguez. Court, great to have you on the show. Thanks for having me, as always. Man, there's just like so many titles in there. C. Money, certified financial planner. <laughs> it's... It's, it's a sign it's, of an important person. <laughs> well, it, obviously. <laughs> well, thanks for being on the show. This is our spotlight segment. Each week, you know, we dissect a real financial plan. We uncover the flaws or what we call pain points, spelled P-A-Y-N-E for the record. And you worked on a case this past week. Why don't you give us the rundown and tell us how you helped this couple get on their path to financial freedom? The couple that I met with this week is in a transition phase right now. Um, they actually just retired, but they are still working with less income for about another five years. So they're at this stage where they have less coming in than they used to, but they're gonna have an even bigger drop in income as they fully retire here in the next couple of years. And they wanna make sure they have enough income coming in, their investments are set up properly, and they really haven't had somebody look at this despite the fact they actually have an advisor right now. They're just not doing the planning, <laughs> they're just looking at their investments. And that is such an important point is you need to look at do I have enough money? Is it allocated properly? Not just how is this one investment going to perform? It's such a bigger conversation than that. It's amazing like, how much of how many of us have financial advisors, yet they never really guide us on our financial planning. <laughs> they love to sell you these products, which you pay fees on, and then really do nothing. And that's so common. And one of the simplest thing that we all need to do is figure out what is our income gap in retirement. Once we stop working. How are we going to replenish that income? And I have to think like that's what everybody wants to know. Exactly. And this couple came to us and they do have a fear that there is going to be some sort of correction in the stock markets. And they said, we have no idea if we're set up for that. And oddly enough, their accounts were about 100% in the stock markets up until a couple months ago when they decided to take half of it out on their own, not their advisor's recommendation, just because they said, we need some sort of safety in here and no one has built that in for them yet. 
yeah, and we talked about this earlier on the show today, but you never want to make your investment decisions based on what headlines are going on. You want to make sure it's tied to your goals. When it's tied to your goals, you're not going to make rash decisions about getting in out of the market. Hey, Courtney, you know, this is a this is so similar to so many other cases we've worked on together and we've seen when you make a decision, when somebody makes a decision based on greed or fear or a prediction, you know, an anticipation of an event, you know, hey, look, it's their money. They can make that decision. But I always find it interesting. It's like it's easy to panic out or to make what you think is a rational decision. What is their game plan for getting back in? Exactly. And that's it. why these couple came to us because they don't have a game plan and they want to make sure they have one. So I do think it's a very smart decision to know there isn't a plan in place, but we know we need one and we need some help in making sure that we can get there. And I have to say that the, the, really, the way I like the way you constructed this plan is it's like you're able to generate an income stream, which looking at this, you're, like, you're able to add $30,000 a year in income from this portfolio that has nothing to do with what's going to happen with the elections. It has nothing to do with Brexit. It has nothing to do with the markets going up or down. This is a current stream of income that's going to continually come in every single year, no matter what the markets, whatever the geopolitical risks are at that moment. Exactly. And that was the main conversation that we had that drove this um, this whole plan is in a perfect world, we want to make sure that all of the income to sustain their lifestyle and their needs is either generated in their portfolio or coming in through Social Security, because that way they're never forced to touch anything in their accounts. They can just live off the income and not even have to touch the principal, which is a much more um, consistent way of looking at things rather than just hoping that the markets go up every year and being fully dependent on that happening. Because if it doesn't, there's nothing to fall back on. And that's a situation that they were in before they came to talk to us. You know, that's the beauty of having a wealth projection where someone can see what their life is going to look like financially every year for the rest of their lives, as opposed to, you know, worrying about what might happen in Washington or what may happen in Britain or what might happen with the Federal Reserve. You know, one thing that I've learned over time is that time passes and markets operate. And if your money's not earning income every day, that's every day you're missing opportunity. And when you have a portfolio that's all weather, as Ryan likes to talk about, you have a portfolio of individual bonds where you make money every day. And the worst that happens is you get your money back if and when interest rates go up. But meanwhile, you're not sitting there every day worrying about what's going to happen next. No, it's a great point because, I mean, if you're sitting in cash, like this couple moved all this money into cash, all of a sudden, now you have unproductive assets, right? And we talk about it all the time, but sitting in cash, yes, it's not fluctuating your money. But when you're earning 1%, 2%, if you're lucky on your cash right now, and then paying taxes on it, you're not keeping up with the cost of living. And that's the biggest issue or hurdle you're going to have in retirement is you got to keep your money abreast of what that cost of living is because it's going up over time. Every million dollars you have today, it's only worth about a half a million every 20 years or so. That's a buzzkill. <laughs> Exactly. You know what, Ryan? You know, I recommend every time you make an event decision, right? An event driven decision in your portfolio, and then you sit there and realize, okay, what do I do next? I think the next thing you do is you pick up the phone and you call C Money, Courtney Dominguez to run a plan for you. Then you'll know exactly what to do. And I think one thing I, I found <laughs> with this couple too, Bob, is they just weren't getting the guidance that they felt they needed. They're going through some big transitions in their life right now, and they're the ones who are having to initiate this conversation, not having somebody proactively come up to them and realize we should start shifting things before these life events happen, not react to the markets and not react to, oh, it looks like we retired last month. Maybe we should change something now. So having some of that proactive advice is something they weren't getting and they weren't looking for. And it's so important when you're looking for an advisor, make sure that they are actually looking two steps ahead because it's hard for you to do that on your own. Absolutely. And well, well said. you know what, Courtney, this advisor, just looking at the portfolio that's been built and what's been presented to these folks and how they're invested reminds me of a movie called The Day the Earth Stood Still. Right When they opened this account with this advisor 20, 30 years ago, they invested in high cost mutual funds. Portfolios never change. It's the day the earth stood still. They're paying more fees than they need to. They should have a low cost tax efficient portfolio. Exactly what you're recommending. Best day in their lives is when they walked in the office and had you review this portfolio. Yes. First off, great job. C Money Dominguez, Courtney C Money Dominguez, <laughs> another financial masterpiece as Bob likes to say. If you're enjoying this podcast, if you're getting the knowledge that we believe you're getting out of it, we want to offer you a free consultation to make sure you have the best financial plan possible. 
We call it our total financial master plan. If you qualify, here's what you can expect. We're going to look at everything from taxes. Have you optimized your financial plan for taxes? We're going to show you how to save on taxes so it's more money in your pocket, not the government's. We're going to look at income. Income is so much more reliable than the ups and downs of the market. We're going to show you how to optimize or increase the income on your portfolio. And we're going to look at diversification. What hidden risks do you have in your portfolio you don't know about? We're going to show you how to bulletproof and safeguard your portfolio, protect it for retirement. To see if you qualify, simply text the words free financial review to 844-752-6692. That's the words free financial review and text them to 844-752-6692. See if you qualify for our holistic total financial master plan. Hey, thanks for listening. We'll have another great show on tap next week. Don't forget to subscribe to the No Pain, No Gain financial podcast on Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Spotify, and everywhere else you can get podcasts. If you're looking to listen to past episodes or to access resources mentioned on the show, check out the full show notes of the program by clicking the link in the description of today's show or by visiting bebullish.com. For Bob Payne, I'm Ryan Payne, and as always, be bullish. Information provided on today's show is provided for information purposes only and does not constitute investment, tax, or legal advice. Information has been obtained from sources that are deemed to be reliable, but their accuracy and completeness cannot be guaranteed. Always consult with an investment, legal, or tax professional before taking any action.